first thing we observed in the QS panel as you can see now it has been arranged like this a favorite section music section and again a internet section if you guys can see if any music has been played will be displayed here and this is the internet section deeply you can check out uh, which option you need to check out from here and one more good thing is the power button is also given here as you can see if you press and hold here it will go to slide to power off that's the good thing uh, earlier we don't have this power of options we need to long press this power button instead they have added here and you also get this plus button you can actually change these sizes and also change the icons and rearrange them that's really great this is the one video the short video what i have made in vn edition of android that has hit 11 lakhs views guys that kind of customizations people always like that has been implemented from ios 18 it's a huge change guys huge huge change i can say uh, this is a huge change in terms of software update in ios department in the entire uh, 18 version so this is a huge update i can say you get a n number of customizations here and if you again go back from this notification toggle you will not go back from here as you can see as you can see it will choose from here again if you want to select the bluetooth any devices connected you can check out from here again and directly you can go to settings also from here you can disable the bluetooth which is a cool thing in my opinion again and the settings panel has been revamped a lot and it's cool to look again and we'll come back here as you can see if i slide like this it will go to these options you need to use this pill down the screen now it will go the notification panel that's a huge change again you guys can see this are the toggles and the animations again torch light and this you can see true tone dark mode again night shift this are the options very much similar but they have implemented the customizations that's really good again and coming into the lock screen customizations again if you press and hold here as you can see customize again you get lock screen home screen if you go into lock screen again you can add the widgets again widgets are n number here you can choose some of the major widgets and if you want some app related widgets you can add them here for me currently this uh, wallpaper it seems to be already filled with some text and numbers hence i don't want to add that again you can pinch to crop the image from here you can select here uh, different kind of wallpapers i mean the lock screens from here you can even select depth effect from here as you can see yeah, based on the wallpaper and again you can remove this camera icon and torch light icon again you can do some customizations really really good again in terms of this one yeah this is customization again in the home screen you get plenty of again as you can see color gradient if you want to change the wallpaper you can do that blur level also you can adjust it based on the wallpaper again uh, i'll make it color here gradient let's see how it looks like yeah these are the new wallpapers you get here regarding ios 18 as you can see these are the wallpapers these are uh, dynamic with time actually and different colors we have this is how we get changes in terms of lock screen and home screen we'll move into home screen here as you can see this is how the home screen we get again you have press and hold here you get options to change the icon earlier it wasn't the case you need to just rearrange just a one place if the app is occupied at that particular place you will not change that but now you can shift anywhere and you can even select n number of applications uh, together and swipe to add in the other screens i am really liking it you can also select here edit again add widget you get n number of widgets you guys can see on the screen guys and again some of the widgets will be coming soon as of now these are the widgets we get here and in the edit section again you get customize option you get here dark mode i mean the icons automatic mode and tinted mode i am really liking this tinted mode based on the wallpapers you can select them you can adjust the color of it and intensity of it i am really really liking it and if you want large icons you can do that also and dark mode this is how it looks like i am really liking the type of customizations what they have added in the 
iPhone iOS devices that's huge ways and it's really making a huge difference in terms of customizations and uh, making your device look different from others you will get a number of options here in upcoming builds it might improve I have that kind of uh, expectations from iOS 19 and all and this is really good large and make it tinted and make some colorful whatever the color you like for example this one matches my thing yeah and you also get this option here you can select that uh, yeah we'll keep that as it is as you can see this kind of customizations have you expected in ios that is true it's there now no need to worry again this is how the quick settings toggles and all it looks like these are the customizations again if i press and hold here the last option is edit pages you can also edit the pages and you can remove them from here very cool very much uh, unexpected things these are the things unexpected things what i can say again it's really cool i am really liking it and this power button as i said before you can directly slide to power off from here no reboot option as of moving into settings this is how it looks like the icons have been rearranged now and it's in tiles format still but it's a little bit different from previous version again again i want to show the battery health also as you can see guys the charging speeds and battery life has been same for me i haven't noticed any changes my maximum capacity is 99 though 85 cycle counts has been completed you guys can see battery health should be normal yeah and the charging you guys can see charge limit and optimized battery charging has been enabled from my set normal charging this has been changed visually and this are the last 10 days uh, battery life you guys can see it's very good for me my usage is always uh, youtube camera and imovie as of now i haven't used it that's the major things i use it uh, imovie and youtube camera is the main thing i will use this device definitely i will be coming to those changes also uh, i'm really happy with the battery life again i have no issues if you have any issues it might get fixed many of the people are saying that again into general again you guys can see software update now uh, it's ios 18.0 again the storage section has been revamped a little bit not just uh, in the visual again these are the things you can expect from the ios 18 here and this is the version what we get in terms of update you guys already seen in the shorts video this is a one more interesting change what we seen in terms of autofills and passwords they have revamped it you guys can see passwords and again passcode setup codes and passwords and if wanted to be done that has been done here it will be very much useful guys it will automatically suggest some of the passwords you need not to be remember but again i recommend it to remember once you lose the account it will be difficult for you i remember i think you should remember the passwords here picture in picture again it remains very similar here and card play i don't use that much uh, we'll be closing that yeah that's how we need to do and again in terms of accessibility voice over options are given here you guys can see i also recorded audio we'll be showing that within a while again order descriptions touch again you get all the haptic touch again default slow fast it will actually show you default touch duration test you can actually do that again tap shake to undo vibration if you want you can disable them again back tap option is there double tap you can choose some of the options here triple tap again you can choose some of the options it will be handy once you double tap that the camera will be awake like that you can select the options here call audio recording again there are call recording options has been enabled now uh, via the bluetooth headset via the speaker or automatic auto answer calls if you enable that uh, you should select the timing of it how much seconds it should uh, record the call the duration of the time also you can select that this is the call recording feature has been enabled uh, really really good guys now you can record the calls in iPhones earlier it wasn't the case again uh, backed up options again I already explained this we'll come back at this also some accessibility 
settings here display size and text again bold text option large text button shapes labels transparency you can reduce this increase contrast again you can see color filters auto brightness if you want you can disable from here reduce white point also you can do that from here that's cool things has been added in the ios 18 here regarding that side button you get these options default slow slowest click speed you can select that actually as you can see you can choose it to ring silent again you can select for classic voice control siri also you can activate from here uh, you can enable confirm using switch control and assistive touch again and other options really remain same again as you can see headphone recommendation mono audio if you want you can enable that and left and right balance some people will have different uh, arrangement in terms of left and right based on their earphones you can select from here again keyboard and typing you get all the necessary options nothing has been changed here typing feedback again if you want all these things you can enable from here these are some important changes what i noticed again in the dark mode this is how the smartphone looks like and I have rearranged these icons. You guys already know that. Again, always on display is the one thing. Uh, you get all these options like show wallpaper and show notifications. And I am not using that much because of the battery constant. But again, I don't use it as a primary device, guys. It is used for mostly as a camera recording, video recording purpose. If it I was, was using it as a daily driver, then I would have definitely used this always on display. That's my... Uh, priority regarding that we'll switch to light mode here again you get all these options custom schedule and sunrise sunset selection true tone display it will dim the device actually it's a really cool thing i'm really liking it always on display I already explained about that not all of feature around 30 seconds you can change that rise to wake options is there I'm feeling uh, iOS is moving towards Android 15. It's very similar to Android now. Again, home screen, you get all these options show in app library, app library only. Those are the things we get. And series, nothing changed yet. We have to get one more update regarding the artificial intelligence. I mean, AI, whatever Apple is uh, showing in their launch event, that has to be pushed via OTA we need to wait for that and again screen time you guys can see that's different from battery life again camera again you get all these necessary options 4k 60 is the last for iphone 15 pro max you need to get iphone 16 pro pro max to get 4k 120 fps again enhanced stabilization hdr video auto fps lock camera that remains very similar here nothing so changes i have noticed from here again these are the things you will get it uh, again regarding apps again you get these things app downloads updates things you guys can see here and location i turned off because of that i am getting very good bad life again and yeah these are the settings we get in the apps again you can see here hidden apps this is the new feature you need to add the apps from here if you add apps it will be displayed here you need to use it as a, again as you can see this is a hidden folder if you add any apps here it will be displayed here you need to use face id or pattern to unlock that that's a good thing this feature is uh way available in android from last 10 years that has been added in this now and these are individual apps which were present previously in the same settings panel now that has been moved into apps that's really good that was annoying for me again and again these are some settings important settings there might be more uh, changes also but these are some important and interesting settings again and regarding camera again guys oh well video recording now if you record the video you can pause it and after some time uh, clean everything and now i want to re-record from same point it will be there now that option has been added again nothing new here i have checked everywhere and regarding photos also for example i'll pause this again you get this option here to edit now 
you can adjust all these options that was there previously also again filters and crop positioning them those are the things we get still a features like removing object in the portrait mode and all has been not noticed from my side at least if you guys notice let me know in the comment section again this was the update scheduling first 17.7 .7. later i got 18 update it's really good i can say these are the changes if you want to read you can read them i have already explained all these things and this is how guys i was 18 uh these are the changes major changes what i have noticed and regarding the benchmark results if i go into geekbench yeah you guys can see uh, cpu benchmark history you guys can see 17th september compared to 8th march 2024 this is uh, older version in the ios 17.4 uh, this are the scores what i got and in the i was 18 this is the score what i got uh i can say scores little bit decreased but in the upcoming updates again 18.1 18.2 it will cope up with these results again that's not a major issue here and i don't find any issues as of now and this is the memory variant i have it's really good guys the gpu i haven't run that but i can say one thing it's really good the update you can definitely do it out again this might feel uh, the control center feel you a little bit annoying in the first glance but after using it for a couple of minutes it will be get used to it again these are the changes what i have noticed in this again you can edit each and everything as you can see you can even edit the home screen remove stack edit stack you can also select the type of it square rectangular big square like that you can do everything from here even this one also you can do that and if you press and hold here again you guys can see this also can be rearranged from here everything will be rearranged and customizable and i'm really liking it guys if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification pressing the bell icon and give it a like guys i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos here again i'm liking this kind of customizations like uh, this one the icons now i will make a tinted i will remove that or i will make something different color as you can see i'll make it now to automatic and small really good guys uh, what are we have seen as of now the customizations in terms of customizations it's really good underneath there are few more changes has been done like performance improvement and efficiency improvements that we will notice after a long time of use i can say again it's really good uh, smooth experience here it's kind of a major update from uh, apple team i was 18 there's a volume panel and again this key has been uh, utilized now in the iphone 16 we get one more button here uh, again i'm not a uh, favor regarding those extra buttons but anyhow if you have any uh, idea about them let me know in the comment section again I'm really happy with this call recording and other features what they have added in terms of customizations. It's really, really good. This is Sampath, guys. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now.